Just notice my Lenten rose is starting to bloom. This one is kind of greenish. And then this one over here is purplish. This is the other Helleborus. It has a lot of dead leaves in here I need to get rid of. You see it's, it's about ready to open up too. Lenten rose. I guess it is Lent. These are not quite as showy as the green ones. Oh, I have to show you this. This rug was down, so I thought it would kill all the weeds underneath, but it didn't. And look what else. Yeah, a brave little pansy. Stan was out pruning the peach trees. We uh, picked up, if you see the pile there, of sticks to burn eventually. And then we put fertilizer, a low nitrogen fertilizer around all the trees. Put gypsum around the apple trees and pear trees. It's supposed to um, keep them from corking. I also put some gypsum, granular gypsum. You can't really see it. It's a gray powder stuff. Um, over here, this is where we had the sweet potatoes last year. And this ground is pretty hard. The gypsum um, is supposed to make the ground a little bit softer. And now for my blueberries here. Let's back up a little bit. Yeah, they don't really look like anything yet. There are no buds on these yet, but it's bendy. It's bendy, so. So here's the blueberries, and I need to put, need to sprinkle some uh, sulfur powder around on those. Just to keep the ground acidic enough. You know, blueberries need acidic soil, even though we planted them in sphagnum moss. Uh, they've been here for quite a while, and I need to add this every year so we'll do that and I think we're pretty much done then with the early garden things. Pull that around the ground a little bit around the base of all the plants and then the rain will eventually help it to soak in. And there we go. Looks like some kind of a, I don't know, sulfur color run. I was expecting it to smell like rotten eggs but it, it doesn't smell too bad.